Hello, this is Kate, and I'm going to be doing a mini lesson for you today on how to access your intuition and how to read your cards intuitively. So I get asked um, by a lot of people, how do I access my intuition and how do I know that I'm reading the cards intuitively rather than reading it um, mentally or, or thinking about the cards and making stuff up? So I'm going to talk just a little bit about intuition and the things that can block our intuition and then I'm going to take you through a very short um, like a two minute guided meditation to kind of uh, get into your body and relax and access your intuition and then I'm going to put a card up and I'm going to walk you through how you would read that card intuitively. So first of all um, you might want to have a piece of paper and a pen handy uh, if you want to jot some things down when you're doing the exercise. Um, and so let's get started. So first I'll talk a little bit about intuition. And intuition is that sort of old, wise part of ourselves that can pick up things that our minds cannot. So our intuition is the part of us that can sense energy when we walk into a room. And you can kind of read the energy of the room. And you can also read the energy of people. And quite often when we get gut feelings about things that might not um, mesh well with our minds, so in our, our feelings might not match up with what we're observing, that is often our intuition speaking to us. So when we get those gut feelings about things. And we can also use our intuition to sense someone else's needs or their intentions. And also being aware of how things are unfolding. That is also something that our intuition can do for us. So um, one of the things that will get in the way of our intuition is our minds. So our, our minds want to jump in there and interpret things and think about things and judge. Our minds want to judge and then we'll also have things like fears and our anxiety, stress, physical tension. All of those things can come into play and really cloud our intuition and, and really um, block our intuition and also our own desires and expectations. So if we're if we have a, a particular desire, we really want a particular outcome and then we say do a tarot reading for ourselves, that that desire um, and that expectation is gonna get in the way of things and, and cloud our intuition. Okay, so um, so one of the, the key issues to accessing your intuition is to be able to really quiet the mind and relax the body and let go of our judgments, our fears, and our desires and our worry and, and make way for the voice of our intuition to speak because we all have intuition and our intuition is really kind of like a whisper. And so if we have, if we have all the shouting that goes on in our mind, we won't be able to hear that quiet inner voice of our intuition. So I'll take you through a very short guided meditation. Um, so I want you to find a comfortable place and you wanna be sitting upright for this meditation. So you want your spine to be straight and you want your feet to be flat on the floor. And then you can just have your hands just resting in your lap. You just wanna get comfortable and then if you would like, you can either close your eyes or you can focus on the image on the screen, whatever you're most comfortable with. And at first, I just want you to become aware of your breathing. So just notice your breath and just notice if you're breathing deeply, if you're breathing shallowly. Just focusing all of your attention on your breathing. Just be aware of how your breath feels in your body. Just notice how it feels as you breathe in through your nose. And just notice how your breath feels as you exhale. And then just turning your attention really deep into your body and just noticing how you feel right now. And 
you don't want to change how you feel. You just want to notice if you're feeling tense, if you're feeling excited, if you're feeling heavy and tired. And just take mental note of how you're feeling right now. And then slowly bringing your attention back to your breathing. And just using your breath, using your exhales to exhale any thoughts that are coming into your mind. Just letting all those thoughts and judgments Letting them go as you exhale. And any overpowering feelings you're having right now, just letting those feelings pass through your body, moving down your legs, and draining out through the soles of your feet and into the floor. Just letting your body relax a little bit more on each exhale. And just setting that intention to be open to your intuition right now. Just letting your intuition know that you intend to fully listen to it and give it 100% of your attention. Now, if you have your eyes closed, you can slowly open them. And I'm going to put up a tarot card and I'm going to walk you through the steps of how you would interpret it using your intuition. Okay. So I'm just going to focus on this card. And just take a good look at this card. And you want to view the card without judging, without trying to interpret it. And just notice how your mind wants to do this. So immediately your mind wants to interpret the card. And I want you to check in with your body and just notice what's going on in your body. And if you want to, you can jot this down on a piece of paper, or you can say it out loud. And now I want you to ask, what message does this card have for me? So if your spirit guide or your higher self was speaking to you through this card, what would it say? And keep in mind that what it might say might be completely different from what this card's actual traditional meaning might be. And the message will show up as a thought in your mind, but it is different from thinking in that it will show up effortlessly without you really trying. So it will come to you in the same way like your imagination or an idea. So it's different from thinking, but it sometimes is hard to tell the difference. So it will come to you easily without you trying. And just take another moment to just ask again, what message does this card have for me? Okay, good. And then just slowly kind of bringing your awareness back. And now you can take a moment to just jot down any of your insights, or um, ideas that you had when you were viewing this card. Okay, so that's, um, that's the mini lesson today on how to access your intuition and read the cards intuitively. My name is Kate and thank you so much for joining me.